What's up YouTube friends, it's your camera boy Jonah and today I'm here in beautiful Lagos. And, and <laughs> this is your girlfriend Natasha. <laughs> What's up YouTube, it's your camera boy Jonah and today I'm here in beautiful Lagos with my beautiful girlfriend Natasha. And today I tell, and more importantly, show you guys about my favorite versatile cinematic vlog set, versatile cinematic vlog setup slash versatile cinematic vlog set, versatile cinematic vlog set, blah, versatile cinematic vlog setup slash all around versatile cinematic video setup. Before one of my favorite vlog lenses and overall video lenses, the 16 to 35, preferably 2.8 lens. I'm filming on this lens right now, and this lens has a lot of advantages. It's one of the most common vlog setups and video setups in general. It has a nice 16 millimeter wide angle lens. It's awesome in vlogs because you can see the scenery, you can see where the people are, or for example, when you're vlogging with more than one person, like right now, you can see both of them in the frame. And it also has a 35 millimeter, which is a nice, tighter cinematic look for isolating one person and separating this person from the background, especially at f2.8. So although this lens is pretty awesome, it still has a lot of negative things. For example, it's a pretty big and heavy setup and especially for vlogging, like I'm doing right now, that's not the best option, like after a while the camera starts to tremble like this. Now with the Sony that I'm shooting with, it has in-body image stabilization, so it kind of fixes that. And a wide angle is always more stable than a tighter focal length. Also this lens is very expensive, especially the 2.8 version. And well, you kind of want the 2.8 version to be able to shoot in low light and to have more separation from your subjects. But although you have to pay a lot for it, it's still 2.8 and not a 1.4. So now let's get into the video and switch this setup with the setup I want to show you guys right now. So you now we are... Do you want I take a picture both of you together? No, uh, thank you. No, I'm making a video. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you love your beautiful couple. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. So now we are on my favorite setup, the Sony 24mm 1.4 G Master. I combine it with the Sony a7 III and the Rode Mic Video Plus and I will tell and show you guys all the positive sides and all the negative sides to this lens. For example, even Natasha can hold this camera and it's very simple for her to hold. Even Natasha can hold this camera and it's very simple. And Natasha, what do you think of this lens? Uh, very, very <laughs> <laughs> don't don't drop it, please. <laughs> Can you hold it with one hand, or no, it's difficult? Uh, it's difficult. <laughs> it's really heavy. <laughs> no. Ooh. And Natasha, what do you think of this lens? Uh, pff, very, very heavy. <laughs> don't, don't drop it. <laughs> Can you hold it with one hand? No, it's difficult. Uh, it's difficult. <laughs> one of the most awesome things about this lens, as you already saw, is the size and the weight. It's such a big difference holding this camera like this. And just in general, if you're walking outside the entire day, holding your camera. Just carrying around your camera is so much nicer. This lens is so light and so small. You will really enjoy it. Obviously, the 1.4 is just delicious. I will show you now the difference between 2.8 and 1.4. It's just something that you camera lovers will enjoy. It's one of my favorite parts about this lens. The 1.4 combined with the 24, still sort of wide shot, but so cinematic because of the 1.4 is just a look that you can only have with this lens. One of the other awesome things about this lens is that the autofocus is just awesome. As you can see, I can just walk around, I can vlog myself and it perfectly tracks my face and holds my face in focus, even right now with a cap and sunglasses. The face tracking and video autofocus in the Sony is always awesome, but in this lens, it's one of the best I've ever seen. It's a really crisp look on the subject in focus and a really dreamy soft look in the autofocus areas. Now I will tell you something bad about the lens. For example, now it's pretty stable, but when I start walking around, you see that it's a little bit more shaky than, for example, the 16 lens. 
the wide angle lens it stabilizes the image more with a tighter focal length you have more of a shake when your hand shakes a little bit now it's perfectly usable i think but the 16 for this type of vlogging for example is still better or in general if you just want to make more stable shots a wider lens is more something for you maybe one of my other favorite things about this lens is the fact that the 24 is still kind of wide and it shows the environment but just in a super cinematic way because of the 1.4 but thanks to the crop option in the sony you can turn this lens into a more 35 millimeter focal length i will show you now some slow-mo footage shot on 24 and then shot in the crop sensor and it's really cool because you have kind of two lenses in one with this lens This lens is also very cool for portrait shots. On the 24mm you have like a nice environmental portrait. And with the crop sensor you can have more like a typical 35mm portrait. And one of the other awesome things about this setup is that it's so good in low light. One of my favorite times of the day is when the city goes to sleep but the lights turn on and everything has nice lights. Now it's night and as you can see the image is still super clean because of this 1.4 on this lens. I'm at ISO 1000 and that is no problem at all for a Sony camera. 1000 ISO thanks to this f1.4. Maybe there's a little bit of noise because of this font is in the back. They look super nice. And so that's one of the benefits of using this lens. Another awesome thing about this 24mm lens is that it's a perfect gimbal lens. By the way, I'm vlogging now on my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So if the quality is a bit different, sorry guys. And if it's good, well, buy this phone. So you see, now I have the Weeble S. Uh, super small gimbal, super small camera setup. It's awesome, it's super lightweight. Best travel setup that I've ever used, to be honest. So that's another benefit of this lens and a reason to buy it. As you can see, it's very awesome in low light. And with the other example, you saw that this lens is one of the most versatile and awesome lenses to have in your camera bag and on your camera. Affiliate links are in the description. You help out my channel if you buy this lens with them. See you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe and all that other YouTube crap. Jonah out. I'm now gonna enjoy my meal here with Natasha. So see you guys in the next video. Natasha, are you hungry? A little bit. Oh, just a little bit. You will see it. <laughs>